And when we are going, so this is the problem. The date zero, we arrive with the blur in this area. So when we realign the provisional, we realign the, the apical part in the edge. Where to stop the provisional? Because the first day we have been able to arrive to the edge and we are able to realign till the edge of the provisional. But after the healing, if you are going to go in the area of the epithelium attachment, we will have inflammation. So if you do a provisional crown now, if you do your provisional crown on the black line, you will have inflammation for sure. You have to stay in the green area. The green area is the correct one. But it's extremely challenging to understand in the circus where we are. Also because when we are doing the vertical preparation, there is something that we have to acknowledge. And it is what? That if this is all the height of the soft tissues, and this is the soft tissues margin, what is the problem? That when we do the vertical preparation, we do always a small cut of the soft tissues. So the circus that we have is even more. But after the preparation, in the following weeks, we will experience most of the times a rebound of the soft tissues, unless there is huge inflammation. And this is the reason because before doing any kind of vertical or prosthetic work, we have to do a periodontal treatment of the patient. Of course, if you are treating a patient with uh, bad oral hygiene, with uh, calculus, with plaque, with uh, swollen tissues, everything is becoming unreliable, unpredictable. But if you're working on a patient with a stable situation of soft tissues, when you are performing a vertical preparation, you will experience a rebound of the soft tissues.